So we got Belligerent Badger against Pacifist Panther. Okay, so two different types of aggressive, usually aggressive animals going up against each other. But Panther's a different type of cat, literally and figuratively. And he's not too interested in aggression. We have Spanish from Belligerent Badger and Mongols from Pacifist Panther. So Mongols generally regarded as better on Arabia. And already Lars is coming in with a big 800 ELO guess. Okay, 800 ELO guess. What told you that, Lars? What told you that? Should have been the names for the last game? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Well, blue whales are notoriously not very aggressive, right? They don't really need to be. So I guess that's, uh, that, that made sense, I suppose. I don't know. 696 ELO. All right. There's two goats dead already, and there's a goat in the middle that's probably going to be killed right now. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. And we've got only five villagers gathering from the goats. We've already got the rhino coming in. I guess he's Mongols. He really wants to take advantage of that civ bonus. This is the sixth villager coming out for the rhino right away. This is definitely not your standard build order for Mongols on Arabia. And pac Pacifist Panther going up for this forward wood line as well. Even though he's got wood lines in the back. Let's take a look at his scouting. It's okay. It's alright. Still taking some of these goats here with these villagers. Has to be careful that they don't come out here and kill this remaining goat. And I think where are his other two goats? I think he still has two left over, right? Yeah, two left over right here. Let's take a look at our Spanish player. Our Spanish player is pushing in Zebra. Damn, do we have a little bit of a mismatch going on here. This looks like a, a better starting build for him for sure. That villager is a little bit lost. Going to find her way back to that lumber camp. And, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, God, he's trying to lure a rhino and push a zebra at the same time. Oh, my God, belligerent badger. He's getting a little bit too belligerent. Is he going to be able to make it? This is delicate stuff here, folks. Trying to push and lure at the same time. And oh no, she dies. She absolutely dies. I hate to see say that we would see that coming, but that was the most predictable thing I've ever seen in my entire life. And now he's trying to push this zebra the remainder of the way in. He's going to get that in. Oh, tragedy. Absolute tragedy. Now it's getting a little bit messy here. He's got the weak villager forward. Goes for a mill right here. Rhino is under the town center, and because of the extra little idle TC time here from Pacifist, Pacifist Panther. Why did I make this name so hard to say? What am, what am I trying to do? She didn't die, though? Oh, she died. He put her in the TC. No, 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 my friend. You can see right here. We saw her fall over. There was no flag on the TC, and you can see Eco KD, KD 0 and 1. She died. Essential service. I'm assuming you're not a uh, a death notification service. Some other essential service, presumably. I saw her spirity flying up to the heavens. Yep. That's right. <laughs> yeah, dude. She's dead. <laughs> All right. He brings in another rhino. He's going to save this guy. And no one else has to die to wild animals underneath... Uh, Belligerent Badger's TC. Now we've got the scout from Pacifist pushing in the zebra. And things are things are looking a little bit hectic under his town center as well. I think he actually lamed some goats from Belligerent Badger. Because I don't see any goats under here. Well, there's two there. And he only had one left over and two up here. So the numbers don't really add up for how many I saw there. I think he definitely lamed two goats. From Blizzard and Badger. Red just found them? Hmm. But Red had Zebra under his TC early. Huh. Either he was hiding the goat. I don't know. We're not going to be counting goats. Alright. If we want to sleep, we'll just go watch uh, Tristan's YouTube channel. We're not going to be counting goats here. Walls coming up on this side now. Walls coming up on this side here from Bligerant Badger. 
And Strode has made a call. Strode has made an official call. And Strode is saying 900. Blue had two extra along the zebras. Okay. I guess he did take in the rhino really early. So maybe there was two. There was probably two goats hiding somewhere. And he's gone for the barracks. He's gone for the barracks. He's up to feudal age far in front of, of Mr. Badger. And Badger's going for full walls. So Badger might be a Spanish main. And Badger might be thinking of an FC. Barracks on the goal. I mean, it's not. Come on, guys. It's not that. I mean, that's horrific. But it's not. Oh, God. Dude. <laughs> he, I mean, it's certainly, you know what? He sees a problem, right? And he's trying to he's trying to solve the problem. He sees the problem of having an open map. And there's a gold at the front here. And he and he's and he's thinking about it in his head. And he's thinking, how can I kill two birds with one stone? Right? I am a I am a panther. I like to go after flying things occasionally, you know, like get those cat instincts. And he's gonna kill two birds with one stone here. And he's going to wall off while having a mining camp at the same time. And he's probably, presumably, going to keep making them wall it this way. Yes. And he's just going to be taking in the gold here. And as long as he only has two villagers taking in gold there, it's not the worst efficiency you've ever seen. When he adds in extra villagers, then it might be an issue. But maybe he'll just add another mining camp here. Maybe this is the Giga Brain play that we never thought we'd see ever. We don't know. Big walls coming up from red now. Scout from uh, Pacifist Panther does have five attacks, so can pick off any villagers that are alo alone or a villager that's weak there. And he's getting bloodlines before he makes a single scout. <laughs> this, dude. this dude means business, bro. He sees the full walls, and he's going to get bloodlines before he goes into the scouts. This dude has some... Like, dude, he's got big balls for sure. Stable and Vils on gold. Well, he needed the gold for bloodlines. And he's getting the armor. Classic. And now he's adding a second stable. With seven on food. So, I mean... I like where his head's at. You know, he's... The fuck is that? Did he, like, did he mean, okay, cancel it. <laughs> I think he meant to, like, buy resources and he actually, yeah, yeah, he did. <laughs> and he fat fingered his way into hitting a trade cart. <laughs> and now he's up to the castle age. Classic Spanish play on an open map here. Wall off everything. And then go for the castle. The thing though is though, blue has bloodlines and armor. And forging on this scout. He's got one scout in here. And red has nothing in defense. And if red's not careful, this scout can kill a lot of villagers. You can wreak havoc with this thing. Unfortunately, I think blue is just going to be chilling at the front. He's going to forget about that scout at the back. Do you think that the market buying slash selling should be disabled while building trade cards or researching text? No. It doesn't... The markets don't just grind to a halt when some laborers are building a trade cart. Is there a hole? That's my question. I don't think there is. Uh, and Red has to be careful to keep repairing behind this. If these scouts get in, they have enough upgrades to be extremely dangerous. And this this wall is going to go down very quickly. If Red comes forward to repair this... Oh, Blue even sending the scout over! Oh my god, that's so good, dude! He was waiting for his opportunity and Red is going to be punished so badly for this. That wall goes down to me. 
Opera. <laughs> there was a hole the whole time. <laughs> Alright, so, <clears throat> Red's gonna try and wall up here, he's gonna try and wall up, this, this is completed, there's a hole right here, and one <laughs> over here too! I feel for you, brother. Red, I feel for you, man. Dude, this base is like Swiss cheese. And remember what I said about the armor, the bloodlines, the forging. Villagers just aren't going to cut it in these fights. And he is losing so many of them. And the scouts are still up here. <laughs> and my man is down to 21 villagers right now. Eco KD is 10 to 0 in favor of blue. But remember, Red also lost a villager to Gaia earlier. Red is still in this, though, because he is Spanish, and he's in the castle age. And Blue has 850 wood in the bank. Blue now adding some farms. Still no horse collar for him. He's on stone as well. And uh, he's making a lot of scouts. And this dude is all alone over here. He's managed to plug the hole. Has he plugged the hole? I feel like he hasn't, right? I feel like they got a around... On this side, the last time, around that house? Yeah, there's still... Okay. And the scouts are back in on the gold. Scouts are back in on the top. Idle TC time for blue is... Dude, this is literally the Steve Harvey meme. You're so focused on doing damage to your opponent. Blue has 5 minutes and 52 seconds of idle TC time from 1 TC in Feudal Age. This dude is not making villagers for... Six minutes, and he's still ahead at the moment because he's killed so much from red. He's going to kill two more right here. Scouts on this side. Now taking out the market. And there we go. Now he can get the castle. Where does the castle go down? Castle goes down over here, and he's going to lose. He's probably going to lose another five villagers building this castle. He is Spanish, so he's going to build it fast. Gonna go for the quick walls, okay? We love to see that. We love to see that. Still kind of a hole on this side, and blue. Ah, oh, he only loses two, so blue pisses off, and now red is gonna have a castle down. Blue is still not in castle age, and red will have the ability to make conquistadors. Is it open here? I feel like it is, cause they don't they don't line up perfectly. Maybe not though. Yeah, probably not open. Right? Is that a hole or not, guys? I don't- I'm not sure. I don't think it is. It's hard to tell with this little hill here that the blacksmith is on. Yeah, I don't think it is. It's a hill, so I think no? Yeah, I don't think so. Alright, so Blue is on the way to Castle Age. Let's take a look at his eco. Yep, he's probably going to be going into Mangadai of his own. And Mangadai need a lot of upgrades to be able to compete with Conquistadors. They need Fletching. They need Bodkin. They probably need Ballistics as well to really compete with them. Um, armor upgrades, not so much. Bloodlines he already has and Husbandry would be valuable as well. <clears throat> All right, so what does he do in Castle Age? Where are these villagers going? Is he going forward for a castle? I think he is. I think he's going forward for a castle. And Red still has a scout there. And Red has three conquistadors. And Red is losing more villagers. Red just lost another villager on the stone. Blue is still running around with the scouts. I think Blue might have been better off if his scouts had died after, like, the first wood raid. So then he can focus on his eco a little bit. And now he's going to be fighting this scout here. And oh god, Red's going to see... Oh no. 
No, 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 no. Don't even think about it. Do not. Don't do it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Red is going to... Our Spanish player, our belligerent badger is going to come back in this game. He's trying to quick wall out, out conquistadors. And, of course, there's... <laughs> Another hole. <laughs> Dude, this is a game of holes right here. It's like collect four or something. Oh my god, three more villagers going down for red. He's still at 25. But blue is only at 30. So 25 vills versus 30 villagers. And blue even gets away with these. And he's going back? No, delete it. No, don't go back. No, your scouts are... No, they're not enough. You cannot... Ki no. You cannot kill six conks. With seven scouts. Delete it. He's getting light cap. That's not... Brother, that's not... That's not enough. That's not going to help you kill these. This has to be less than 900. Oh, I... Right now, I'd say this is probably a... Uh, I'd say this is 1,050. That's right. Here to here first. Eleven hundred could be eleven hundred. All right, Light Caver pushing these conks back, and he goes for the castle with the same four villagers. These Light Caver are gonna buy you some time, but they're not gonna buy you enough time to get that castle up, my friend. You need to delete this and put it somewhere back here. And now you are just getting so far behind militarily in this game. It's going to be unbelievable. The only recourse now, uh, I think, for pacif Pacifist Panther is to go for Monks. Monks is really the only thing you can do now unless you get this castle up somewhere at home. He's going for... Okay. And the conks are going to be in. The conks are going to be in. And belligerent badger has to be thinking to himself, how on earth, in what universe am I still alive in this game? And how do I have the score lead? And what is happening? He must have a giant eco, right? Oh, wait. He doesn't have a giant eco. He's only got a couple farms here. Surely there's a TC over here that's been producing for a long time. Surely there's more eco around this side. But it's not the case. We have nine and a half minutes of idle TC time for blue. And that's the reason he's so far behind. Red has the basics down much, much better. Yeah, I wouldn't surprise me if red was a one-trick pony with Spanish. And red is just running around. Sniping bills. The light cab and the knights are not enough to stop this. Blue tries to wall him in. Blue loses more villagers. Pacifist Panther now down to 24 villagers. Do you remember? Do you guys remember when he killed 22 vills from red? It didn't matter. Because he had so much idle TC time. His castle got destroyed in the middle. He got pretty belligerent. He went pretty ignorant with this castle here in the middle. 100%. Yeah, kudos for Red staying in the game. Yeah, man. How many of you would quit after you lost, what was it, like 15-0, the Villager KD, before he even killed one? Maybe even more than that. Maybe 20-0. <laughs> and you didn't even have enough stone for a castle? <laughs> but he's probably been in this situation before, playing as Spanish. Hole next to Blue's Market. I don't think the holes really matter at the moment. I mean, it's only Palisades. This amount of conks can get through there pretty quick. And Blue's going to lose more villagers. And he's not producing any. He only has 60 food in the bank. He's still got the stone, but he refuses to sell. He's like, maybe one, maybe one day, excuse me, I'm going to get enough for a castle. What pisses me off about this is that Red probably thinks he's Alexander the Great when he just goes conquistadors. Also, probably too stupid to know when to quit. 
<laughs> wow. Somebody's been beaten by conks before. Okay. Have we brought up some stuff? Have you, have we, have you like repressed some stuff here, Sharp? Or what's going on? <laughs> All right. Conks coming for it. Almost has enough stone for another castle. A castle here. How beautiful would a castle here be? Right on that hill. Two TCs. Production buildings. Gold is right here. Oh, that would be beautiful. <clears throat> At this rate, he can almost take out TCs with the amount of conks he has. And it's archery ranges for blue. Uh, skirms are decent against conks, but you need ballistics. And you need bodkin arrow. Unfortunately. And you need like twice the amount of skirms. First the conk numbers. So it's going to be really tough for red to do anything. Or sorry, for blue to do anything. Yeah, Blue's micro with the scouts in Red's base was actually quite nice. He was pulling them away. Um, he wasn't getting stuck in situations. He was picking off the weak vills. But his macro behind, it really, really struggled, right? You could definitely tell where his attention is. It can be one place at a time. That's it. What is a good con counter? Uh, if you have a lot of expos, it's good. Um... Skirmishers are good if you have a lot of them, but you need ballistics for both of those because conks are very fast. It's hard to get the shots in. Monks are a great counter to conks. Monks are a fantastic counter to them if you can keep up your monk micro. But usually the best counter to conquistadors is just keeping them out of your eco, keeping them from killing everything you have with like walls or some range units behind those walls or some monks or whatever, and you will have the better economy behind. Because this man is spending food and gold on a unit, and you're likely only spending wood and gold. Or just gold, in the case of monks. And he had to go on to stone to get the castles. So that's a lot of time spent with his villagers mining and building that castle that you didn't have to spend. Well, two skirms take out 18 conks. Well, we're about to find out. As these brave men um, come over here. Still no Bod Canero on these. Still no Ballistics, of course. And If you're fighting Skirms against Conks, you probably want at least 50% more army numbers. <clears throat> Up to a certain point, anyway. Once they get like 30 Conks, then it might be an issue, but... Okay, red. You are going to kill half of Blue's eco here. Blue is at 28 villagers. <clears throat> Coincidentally, 28 minutes of idle TC time as well. And the skirmishers are dying. They do a lot of damage per hit, though, to the conquistadors. So you can see why they're decent, right? And he hits them with the G. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. He hits him with the G. Oh my god. Haven't seen disrespect like that in a long time. It was in fact a game. Yep. Damn, dude. I don't know if he meant that or... Passive aggressive panther. Yeah, true. <laughs> passive aggressive. He's not a pacifist. He's a passive aggressivist. Damn, dude. 24 conks, 22 light cav created. And look, the eco KD wasn't even that different. There's a huge villager difference here. 61 against 23. But he only killed 7 more villagers. Actually, he killed 8 more vills because he lost a vill to the rhino earlier. And he lost the vill to the rhino too. He only killed 8 more villagers. All of that is basically coming from idle TC time from Pacifist Panther. That's why macro is important, folks. Now, I had bet. I had bet that that was 1k50. I'll say 1k50 or 1100 is my bet. <clears throat> Somewhere in that range. We got 800s in here. We got 1100s in here. We got 970s in here. One guy almost going up to 1,200. 
less than 1k 800 11 billion right 1000 on the dot right okay let's take a look at the stats kd twice as much eco just way better for red of course except for the food collected surprisingly because he apparently wasn't putting that food back into villagers and uh damn total villagers created the entire game 84 for red 53 only for blue only 53 in a 40 minute game all right let's reveal <clears throat> Here we are into the game room now and we've got Spanish best sieve against Darth Lowell. <laughs> I should have kept these names. <laughs> Spanish best sieve against Darth Lowell and Darth Lowell is 868. Okay, way lower than I thought. 868. What is Spanish best sieve? Damn, dude. It's actually one instance where it's uh a lot lower than I than I initially thought. Usually it's higher than I thought. Is Spanish best civ a picker? Well, I would assume so. I don't think he randomed into Spanish here. I'm a bit relieved, not gonna lie. Hmm. Dave with the disrespect to 1k50 players. I guess if you look at his scout opening, it was a little shaky, right? It was a little shaky. Going for that mining camp. That mining camp actually should have told us all we needed to know. All right, so Spanish best civ doesn't exist anymore. I'd love to know what Eloi was. It's not coming up on Nightbot, but maybe you guys can find it. Exercept is really good at finding the accounts. Exercept casually asking you to do work. He just played two games. Is he a Smurf? He kind of looks like a Smurf, honestly. For this level, anyway. Both of them were 950 ELO when they played. Okay. Well, that was a fun match. Lots of holes in that map. In that match and we could see the holes in Darth Lowell's gameplay um, doing the damage and being so happy about killing villagers and then he, at the end of the day after you kill what 15 vills from your opponent you're only five ahead of him doesn't seem to add up right you got to keep your TC's working here folks got to keep your TC's working if you watch on YouTube thank you for watching you can submit your rec on my rec um submission channel my discord information will be below and i uh, usually do this every tuesday it's a wednesday today but i'm gonna try and make it every tuesday all right thank you